Good afternoon. All right, I got to get ready. Wait. That's all that's coming off. I don't care who you are. <laughs> all right. Those of you that can read this, read it out loud. Ready, go. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You guys read the back. Okay. Now that we've established that, I um, want to talk just a minute about the group that I love. This is the beginning of my 49th year in education. If you got more, thank you. All right? Those of you in your 30 years, will you please keep working because the young folks got to pay for your retirement. Uh, middle level kids, I'm going to give you seven seconds. Seven seconds. I want you to think of one word. Middle level students are blank. And then I'm going to tell you to shout out your word. You ready? Here's your seven seconds. Okay, one word. One word. On the count of three, you ready? Shout out your word. Do not sit there and go, oh, I don't want to participate. That's middle. Just do it, okay? Ready? On the count of three. One, two, I didn't say three. You must be in middle school. <laughs> Do it again. One, two, three. Give me a word. Okay. Everything you said was correct. <laughs> Dr. Bill Alexander, 1967, Columbia University, tried to tell educators, hey, look, grades five through ten are different. If you don't, if you're not prepared, if you're not ready to deal with this age group, you need some more training. People love middle school, they hate middle school. Look up Dr. Bill Alexander, because he was the first one that said this is a unique age. If your middle school is not taking into account the physical needs of your kids, the social needs of your kids, the emotional needs of your kids, and the intellectual needs of your kids, then you need some more training. All those things go together. Socially, they need to learn together. They need to be with their peers. They need to feel success. They need to have friends. Physically, I hope they bring recess back. I'm 69 years old going on 70, and I want recess. Okay? That's what I want. We need to feel safe. Now, they'll tell you they don't care about the safety. I'm going to jump off here and land on my head and not hurt myself at all. Not true. They are independent, but they're not independent yet. They are caught between a rock and a hard place. I had a kid tell me one time, you know, coach, I'm just nothing. And I said, what's nothing? And he says, I'm too old for a babysitter and I ain't old enough to date. You high school people, you're setting up ninth grade academies. Why are you doing that? Because the failure rate at the ninth grade is the biggest one. We got to deal with this particular age group. Physically, they need to move around, they need to be actively engaged, they need to be listened to. Give me somebody who's old school. You're over 40. Somebody over 40. Okay, you're not over 40. You are. Okay, you might be. I don't know. I'm not going to judge. You're over 40. Okay. Little, little Davy. Little Davy's squirming in the seat. Right? You might say, little Davy, what's the matter? Do you have... It's in your pants. No, my coccyx is having a growth spurt. Fastest growing bone in the body. You have physical developments. You need uh, intellectual stuff. Well, they don't know their times tables yet. You need to stimulate them. They're creative. They are, love group work. They can do all of those things together. Emotionally, they fall in and out of love. 
Raise your hand if sixth grade was the best year you ever spent in school. Seventh grade? Eighth grade? Then you know what I'm talking about. Schools that want to be highly successful with this group of kids must have the knowledge base. When you talk about emotional stability, you know that it costs more for a 16-year-old to get car insurance than it costs for a 65-year-old to get car insurance. You know that, right? Why is that? Why is that? Because 16-year-olds that drive with peers in the car in different states are doing different things. That's the emotional development. The research says when you're a little kid, the synapses in your brain look like cow paths through a pasture. You all got college degrees. You now have synaptic superhighways. You can manage a whole lot of information quickly. All right? And some more research that says the emotional part of your brain absolutely takes over. Throw logic out, out the window. You ask a kid who, who is in trouble, why did you do that? They go, I don't know. Eight times out of ten, that's all they got because they don't know. The research says that they need to be actively engaged. That means peer work and group work. Those of you that enjoy activities and things like that, please, ma'am, and please, sir, give them a purpose for the activity. An activity without a purpose is just activity. You follow me? There's some other stuff on here. Do you think they can solve higher level thinking questions? Do you think middle level kids can do it? If they have enough practice, they need to be heard, they need to be known. All of this stuff comes out of a history of trying to, a history of trying to get through to educators that this age group is unique. All right? We got to be prepared for them. When's the best time to read the book, What to Do in Case of a Grizzly Bear Attack? Before you go in the forest. Grizzly bears are coming, okay?